bij Gerli. En ik kom al, ik denk, meer dan 15 jaar bij uh, Theo. Ja. Geweldig, kapper. Ik kan niks aan zeggen. Oké. Okay. Kelly uh, is a, a customer of mine normally and she is once model for me. Now she's back to model for me and she's 15 years a customer of mine. So now she wants a, a short hairstyle, mostly she wants that. Wil je een rondje draaien? Mm -hmm. She turns around so you can see how her hair is now. And it's winter time so we go for short but not too short. Ik ben geen kleutelaar, dat weet ik. Voor ik heb helemaal niks gezegd. Dat maakt niks uit. Hello friends on YouTube. Uh, Gelly is going to model for me, what I already told you, so I start with uh, normally with protection. And then I'm just going to see what's happening. Now, it's winter time in Holland and it's getting cold now, but it's the first time freezing. So uh, we leave it a little bit longer, but certainly it will be short hairstyle, so I can learn a lot of it. Start with wetting the hair. This hairstyle is about eight weeks old. It's, and it's still a wonderful hairstyle, of course. And she has a beautiful small scalp. Maakt niks uit, zie ik normaal ook niet. Nee. Ik vertrouw je helemaal. Ja, je staat er gewoon mooi op. <laughs> Start is cut uh, on the upper layers. Now she wants to leave some length, so I take off about a half centimeter of the length on top. But she has also a very, very large amount of hair, so it's laying flat on the head. It's normal in winter time because then the muscles of the hairs pull the hairs down. And she loves to play with hairs, so she mostly uh, uses uh, clay to model the hair with. And you see she's getting grey. But now we get it also a little bit more grey because we have a gel with a grey tone in it. So it's a clay gel. So we're gonna style it afterwards with that. Can I tell you something about that? Yeah. As it, um, as I stel that I grijs do, eh, wordt het dan niet, is dat is dat niet te, te flat voor mij, voor mijn? Uh... Nee, joh. Nee. Nee. Nee, zo ver ben je al wel dat dat niet flat voor jou is. Okay. I normally, it, it, maybe you can the translation in the underlines what she asked me, but uh, when persons um, get a, a grey color of natural color, mostly the skin tones are uh, compared to that, so they are in the same line. But it's also when they have it about a year or something like that. Not in the start, because then the skin tones are still very warm and grey hair doesn't suit that well. So then normally you color your hair, but there will be a, a, a twist point where you go over to not color anymore, because then the hair is more beautiful in the natural shapes, because they uh, suit the skin tones. You see then also the grey effect in the skin back, so you see the silver flow over the skin tones and I think then you have to stop with coloring because then the natural color is much much nicer than a cold color. There are some exceptions on that. I have a lot of customers who are gray but they want to feel young again and then we go to the platinum silver blonde. But that we do in springtime and not in winter time. This is because the skin in uh, winter time is colder, but when you make even a cooler hair color, the, the tones of the skin become more uh, pink, so it's softer, so they look more nice. Now comb the hairs back, take my scissor and go slice into the hairs. Use the deep slice technique, so go near to the skin to give it a playable effect. I really love slice techniques because you can point them to the point where you want them to get so you can get into the hairs and go to the place where you need this slice technique.
Dan zet hij langs die weer goed zijn best. Ja. Dat is flink herrie. For those who start slicing, be aware that not every uh, scissor can slice. They have to get a scissor with hollow blades, and not straight blades. But you can, then you have knives, and not classic scissor. Cleaning in between, well, certainly with short hair, it's very important to clean between. Turn a bit, so you can see a little bit more. On the crown area, I want to create a jumpy effect, so I just travel around the crown area. Turn a bit more, so you can see that even better. So turn around, around the crown area. And create a little bit jumpy effect. So now you see that the crown area nicely jumps, so you have a light, nice feeling of having free hair. And once you want to lay it flat, it always can lay flat, of course. It's also very important. When you use the right techniques at the right places, you can always go back to that where you want to start. Watch through the hairs in just a, just a little bit. Go over to my largest Kiona scissor. And cut this hairstyle scissor of comb. This way you can create the most soft lines. It takes some time, but it's very nice to do because it gives also a feeling of rest. In the under lines, take the fine part of my comb, but then I'm certain that I lift the hairs up. And get all the hairs that lay flat. Nou, het leuke is wel, ik zeg altijd, ik moet een ritme hebben. En nu heb ik wel een ritme door die ventilator. Want ik geef wel een ritme. Ik ook rammel die. En dan hoor je de film heel goed dit. En geen geluid is geen geluid, hè? Dat is, dat is gek. Want hier is het eigenlijk veel te rustig altijd. Ja, is dat altijd? Ja, altijd. Hier zitten toch allemaal verschillende bedrijven. Daarmee zitten allemaal onder, hè, die herrie mm. Ik zit echt in het rustigste stuk. Wat ook 
the side bit is nice soft. So, short of them by point cut. And the hair is a takeaway with the clipper, of course. Take the hair up in the same line as the skull bone is. Take the hair up with my scissor and catch them with my comb. Ik vind het wel mooi om zo'n filmpje te maken, wat ook een beetje gewoon puur laat zien wat knippen is. Hè? Mm -hmm. Dus je kunt gewoon heel rustig even een filmpje maken, wat gewoon lekker gewoon kijkt naar knippen is. En de ondertiteling, die doen ze meestal wel bij, dus... Uh... Mm -hmm. Ik zie de laatste tijd, is Google daar heel veel mee bezig om de ondertiteling onder te zetten. Waiting in between. Again, take the fine part of my comb. And use this only to get to the skull bone. Ik vind haar blijven komen. Ja, goed voor het door. Het is een veredeld onkruid, zeker. Ja. Het is ook heel grappig dat je als kapper daar geld aan kunt verdienen. Je ziet de andere lijnen travel the other way around. So they travel up. So then you twist your comb around. And also the contour line I do with a small clipper. Come to the back. So now I have the half of the head. So you see the difference in length. This is this long and this is this short. Go to the other side. Twist also my sister to the other side. This hairstyle is a little bit asymmetrical. Not very much, but a bit. Go in opposite lines. And pulling with my comb the hair straight up. So just watch if they are standing straight in my in my comb. Adapt the lines of the skull. Connect the under lines to the upper lines in a freehand style. I think this large scissor of Kiona is the most wonderful scissor they have. It's not expensive at all, but it's a classic, huh? so, and it works really, really nice. It's still on the market, and I think it's around uh, 140 euros or something like that. Ik 
Hoe vaak doe je dat? Hoe vaak moet je het slijmen? Oh, als ik merk dat hij best wel fijn neemt. Maar dat gebeurt niet zo heel vaak. Koud? Ja, met water. <laughs> Normally, a customer can see what I'm doing, but now the water came from out of nowhere. <laughs> So she reacts on that because she does have a mirror now. Normally you can see this coming. So now you see they have a nice covered hairstyle. So you know, shining through the hairs. Watch it to run and just knowing that it's a bit asymmetrical, you could see it also on the front. Go in. Leave it a little bit longer. Do the same as I did. Go in. Take the eyebrow bone as my guide to put my sister Emma coming. And hold this position on the sides. I want to go to the back because I still have to work on this part. I adapt the lines. So my comb is adapting the lines of the skull. So I get a nicer flow. So my comb guides me in all of the things I do. First is the natural lines, and then I'm just doing what my com wants me to do. So I cut that what is on my com. And on the lines, I go over to the fine part of my com. Also this side, I connect the line in a freehand style slice cutting. So now I'm gonna connect the back to the front. Get rid of some hairs, turn around and go to the other side. Not so bad at all. Ik ben benieuwd wat je gemaakt hebt. Ik kan niks zien nou. Ah, gelukkig maar. Nee hoor. Schafje. Connecting front to the back. Go in. Take my first line. Kijk uit dat je niet van dat platform had. Ja, ik neem de valling hier. Also this is uh, very nice to slice with, this has hollow blades. They are really like shaving knives. Show you that. So both sides are hollow. Connect the sides to the upper lines. Go in with a small slice technique. Get rid of some fine hairs.
Got the new lines of the eyebrow again, and only in the part that's laying from the holy bone, I go in from the other side. So this part I have to go this way, otherwise I cannot catch the lines that go in, flow into the lines of the skull. Go to my fine part of my comb. Side piece to the side, go in just with my tip. Creating a soft line. On the hairs I do again with my small clipper. Roughly, my hairstyle is ready, so now I only need to clean the contour. That's not speaking. That's the hairstyle. Mm -hmm. Took myself a nice, fine comb. Lift the hairstyle. All this line I just cut. Those are soft. Around the ears. Pull the hair straight up. Set in my comb. Also from the other way around. Clean the line around the ears. A nice soft neckline. Only take the centimeter around the contour. The rest is already cut. She has a really beautiful neckline. Every time set the hair straight, very important. Clean the surroundings of the neckline. Go in with my comb again. My fine parts again. Hold the neckline nice and soft. Watch over the lines. Just in the feeling. Okay. 
to the front again. Go in. Hold the line soft, sand it, pull the ear down, go into the running. Just a little bit more, thin out. Bit on the, on the lines, sand it. By weighing glasses, there is like even flatter on the skull, so you have to take it a bit up. Adapt the first line into the lines of cutting. Now I can clean this up and start it. Okay. Create a bit in a warrior look. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Clean the neckline with my erase plate. Pulling the skin real tight. Now she wants a bit messy look, so that's not a problem because there are slice techniques in it and we got to get rid of all the small hairs of course. So I use a little bit of foam of glint to protect the hairs from the heat of the blow dryer. Only my fingers, and just when you want a messy look, you have to pull a bit on the hairs. Hoe doe je dat? Ja, vastpakken en een klein beetje trek aan daar. Ja, ja. This also relaxes the skin and the muscles on the hairs, so it's not a problem to pull a little bit on the hairs. Most women love it also because. Yeah, it's a nice feeling. As long as you're not shaking it. Mm. So set my fingers in close then. And pull the hairs a little bit up. Come to a nice uh, product of uh, Attitude. This product, it's a silver wax. It looks real silver. And you can strongen the grey tones with it. So they are more in line with the sides because her sides look very light. So when you put this on the upper hair, you get almost the same hair tone. So for those who are in the middle of getting the hair gray, it's a wonderful product to work with.
can also body paint with it. Hmm. And even if you want to get the makeup in line, you can do also a little bit of makeup with it. Because it's a dry product, so don't mess up. And I think it looks really nice. I will show you my hands. Look at nice there. I'm like the tin man. <laughs> the tin man. If you are the tinder, what am I then? <laughs> <laughs> the girl of flesh. <laughs> the woman with the heart. <laughs> Free of all small hairs. Thank her for being my model. Thank you for watching. She will certainly turn to show you that result. <clears throat> you more? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's actually good. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually Ja, maar dat vind ik juist leuk eraan. Ja, dat is ook leuk. Lekker ruw. Alleen om dat zelf dan weer zo te krijgen. Oh, dat lukt wel. Dankjewel. Ja, dankjewel. Short hairstyle. Mostly she wants that. Wil je een rondje draaien? Mm -hmm. She turns around so you can see how her hair is now. And it's winter time, so we go for short, but not too short. Mm -hmm. 